Hey there guys, good morning and welcome to a brand spanking new video. Now I had another video uh, recorded and all of that, but it looked terrible. So I had to re-record. Um, but in today's video, we're going to be talking about how to create quotes, coloring pages using none other than one of my new favorite tools, which is Kittle. And I actually want to thank Kittle for sponsoring this video. But before we dive in, I'd love for you guys to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Also, for those of you that are looking to get into the world of low content book publishing and you want to you want to build a brand to sell low content books with and learn about that, you can head over to check out my course, which is called From Publish to Profit. Also, I do have some freebies. One is a swipe file, which includes 200 types of low content books that you can publish. And then I also have a free masterclass that you can attend as well that walks you through the seven step framework that you can use to create a low content book, all right, and start selling it on Amazon. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take you on over into the back end of Kittle, which is one of, um, like I said, one of my favorite tools. There's a lot you can do with this tool. And so again, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get started with using Kittle to create quotes coloring pages. So let's go ahead and dive off into the video. All right, so hey guys, so there's a couple of things that you will need for this tutorial. So one is going to be a Kittle account. Um, you can get started with Kittle for just around 15 bucks a month. I think it's absolutely worth it. As you can see, these are some of the things that folks have been creating with Kittle, specifically for print on demand. And then they also have an AI tool that you can use as well. And everything that you create with Kittle can be used commercially, but as always, you definitely wanna make sure that you mix things up, make things as unique as you possibly can to keep yourself in the clear. OK, so I just wanted to state that now the next thing that you're going to need and I actually went over to create a Fabrica and I will link to these specific backgrounds and these interior pages for you guys that are interested in using them. But this is a pack of Mandela coloring book pages that we're going to use for the background of our quotes coloring book. All right. So I've downloaded these and again, I'll link to these below in case you want to use this specific pack of coloring pages. But if you don't, you can definitely come over into Creative Fabrica and you can just run a search for Mandela KDP background. And then you can just hit enter and this should bring up all kinds of different beautiful background patterns that you can use. So you can see right here, there's a lot of them and they come in packs. So, but anyways, I've already downloaded these. And so we're gonna go ahead and hop on over into Kittle to start this quick tutorial. So the first thing that you want to do in Kittle is um, once you get signed in, we're gonna come up to where it says, start a new project. So once we do that, what we wanna do is we want to give this a custom dimension. So we want this to be first off, not in pixels, but in inches. And then we want to change this to 8.5, I'm sorry, 8.5, if I can type, <laughs> by 11. We want that unit type to be in inches, and then we want the DPI to be 300, because we want it to be as crisp and clear as possible. So now we're going to go ahead and click Create. So this is going to bring up a blank page. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and upload one of my uh, Mandela backgrounds into Kittle to start this process. So I'm gonna go over here to this little toolbar. I'm gonna click where it says uploads, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click upload. And then I want to go to my desktop, and then here are the images that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica. And I'm just gonna go ahead and select one of the backgrounds. It really doesn't matter which one I select. Um, so I'll just go ahead and select number seven. All right, so this is going to upload into Kittle. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this to pop this over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag this over to the right. And then I'm going to stretch this out all the way across the page. OK, so we want this to cover this whole page. All right, so now we're done with that. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over this item. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I want to click to lock this into place. So I want this to just stay put. I don't want this to move around. I just need it to be locked. So I've gone ahead and I've locked that into place. All right. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back over to the left hand menu and we want to go to text. Now, I have to say, <laughs> 
that to me, Kittle is just, I don't know, it's just on a whole nother level when it comes to the different text and just type of, the type of styles that you get and things like that and just how you can kind of use these text, um, these, these text combinations in your quotes coloring pages and really make them really, really pretty. So I'm going to go ahead and click on show all because I really do like like the vintage kind of look and things for the text and what we're going to be creating and so you can just kind of scroll through here guys and you can kind of get an idea of like some different you know some different uh, things that you can use in your images okay for your quotes so to make things easy though I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one right here which is the first one and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stretch this out to enlarge this and then I'm gonna bring this down and maybe just kind of break this up just a little bit here all right but I do want to make sure that it's it's uh, pretty big okay all right awesome so there we go so this is multiple fonts and this is what we're going to be editing now what I've done is I've kind of come up with my own quote and I'm just going to kind of pretend that I'm creating these images for a positive quote coloring book or something like that right or a quotes coloring book that you can upload into Amazon and so what I'm gonna do is I'm basically just going to highlight this word right here and I think the first word that I came up with or the quote is that I am beautiful and loved so I'm just gonna go ahead and type I am right here and then I'm gonna highlight the second part of the text and I'll maybe type in beautiful for that and then right here and loved all right and so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ungroup these items because I do want to delete some of, uh, do, do want to delete this one right here. I don't need this one, so I can just remove that. And then over here, I need to kind of bring down this text a little bit more. So I'm going to highlight this and then I'm going to go over here to the text size and we're just going to bring this down to make sure that it fits in. All right, and so there we go, I am beautiful and loved, all right? Now, the next thing that I wanna do is I want to click on these things, or not that these things, <laughs> but click on the text individually because I want to change the effects on the text to kind of give it a color, kind of a, a, a shadow kind of a effect where you can color in the actual text, right? And then the actual background. So, and to do that, and I was also meant to say that if I wanted to make this bigger, I definitely could. So I could do, you know, I am, like this and then I can center it like so but then once I'm done with that I can come over to where it says effects and we want to use one of these shading kind of effects right to get that coloring kind of effect going so I'm going to go ahead and click on this effect right here all right and now you can see that the shading is uh, going to be gray I don't want that to be gray in fact what I want to do is I'm going to highlight this text right here because I want to change this up instead of the uh, middle color being black I want to change that to white and then I want to change the outside color or the shadow color to black so you see how that how that did that right there all right so now I'm gonna do the same thing to these other uh, this other text right here so I'm gonna click on this one I'm gonna go to effects I'm gonna click on shadow and I also forgot to do one other thing right here over on effects for the outline width, I forgot to make this a 10. I wanted to make that bigger so we can have more of a border on it. So you see that? And then if you wanted to adjust this to make this a little bit bigger, you can just do the same thing. So you can go back over to effects and where it says outline width, this is where you can kind of take this and you can kind of increase it as you see fit. But I think that 10 looks really, really good. So I'm gonna leave that at a 10. So now I'm gonna go to the next part of the text and then I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna go back over to effects. I'm gonna click on this one. I'm going to, I'll go ahead and do the outline width. I know I'm going to be changing this. All right. So then as that, so I'm going to click on this again. So in the inside of the text, remember, we want that to be white and we want the other color right here, which is on the outside to be black. And so you have that effect right there. And then now we have the last part of the text, which is here. So again, we're going to go to effects. We're going to click on this. I'm going to go ahead and do 10 for the outline width, all right? And then I could go back to settings and then I'm going to change the interior color to white and the 
border color to black. And there you go. And I think this looks really, really cute for a uh, coloring page. All right, so you can kind of go in here and kind of reduce your fonts and things like that. But I think this looks actually really, really cute. All right, and this is when the was it was within the matter of minutes. And so once you're done and you're kind of happy with the way that your page looks, then all you need to do is go through and just download this page. So I'm gonna go over here to the right. I'm gonna download this as a PNG file. All right, and then from there. We can open this up and this is what the page looks like. And I think that looks really, really cute for a quotes coloring page. And so that, my friends, is how simple it is to create a quotes coloring page, you know, using Kittle. Now, what you can do is, of course, once you're done and, you know, you want to take everything off, you can just go through, highlight everything. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock it should be locked. Let me go over here to the layer. So I'm gonna go over here to the bottom. You can see where it's locked right here. I'm gonna unlock this for the illustration page because I wanna delete that. And then what you can do is come over to the right and you can just kind of finish uploading the AI, not the AI, <laughs> but uploading the different backgrounds. So let's just say you wanna use background number three. So you can just upload all of your backgrounds at once. Honestly, I think that's the smartest thing to do, but you can just put this over here. All right. put that there all right so we have that and then you basically can follow the same process so you go over to text you find a really really cute kind of vintagey text or titles so we can even go to titles and let's just take a look at what they have here so this title is cute uh, this one is really really cute so you can make something really cute with this um, this one is really cute as well so I mean they have a lot of them in here but basically you could just find something that you know, really speaks to you that you want to use in your design. So for example, maybe you want to use this font combination. And I think this is really, really cute. So oops, let me lock this in. I forgot to lock this. So let me right click and let me lock this in so this can be locked so it won't move. But this right here is the new font combination. And then, you know, this is where you can put, you know, yes, yeah, I am, I am, fierce something so we can take this down here this is too big so this is at a 153 so you can go over here maybe try like a 130 all right and then we can stretch this out and then what i'm going to do is ungroup this because i want to be able to move this around so i want this to be yes i am fierce and fabulous or something like that i don't know and fab you plus okay and so then i can highlight this and then i can bring this down maybe we can try like a 60 okay perfect okay and so once you have your text the way that you want everything and you want to group everything together what you can do easily with this program is to just basically take your mouse and hover over everything that you want to group together and then what you'll do on your keyboard is hit Control G to group everything together, okay? So you see now it's all grouped, so it's staying together, which is great. So now what we can do though, is we can actually go into the text and what, what we did just a few minutes ago and start adding the different effects to make it a kind of a coloring image. So here we're gonna go over to effects. We're gonna do the shading image right here. And so remember, we're gonna go to text settings again. And then um, what I'm going to do is change the uh, main color to white and then the outside color to black. I think that looks cute. And then you can come down to where it says effects and then you can go over to change the outline to 10. OK, and then you so on and so forth. So we've kind of gone through it and you know what to do basically based on what I did in the last image. And then once you're done with this page here again, what you can do is you can go to download and then you can just download this as a PNG file that you can then later add to your coloring book, a full coloring book that maybe you can, that you've created using a program like Canva. So these are just going to be the pages that you're creating with um, this tool. But um, I still think this is really, really great because like I said, I really do like the font choices. I think the fonts look lovely. I think they're gorgeous. And I think you can really, really do some really pretty 
quilts coloring pages on your own using this tool. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial and overview on Kittle and how you can use it to create your own custom quilts coloring pages that you can sell in a coloring book on KDP or in your online shop like Etsy and so forth. So if you guys like this video, I'd love for you to like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for checking this out and I hope you guys take care and stay safe out there. Okay. Bye.